Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Tokyo Xanadu EX Plus. Um, so last time out we started off chapter... Th we uh, began chapter 3. I could have said started off. Um, <laughs> uh, and we started off basically with um, the start of our kind of um, free time. We also find out that uh, about this new app which is going around. Anyway... So we're starting off with, in this part with the first of the um, optional dungeons of the game. Um, why am I waiting around? There we go. Fuck. Tom attack. There you go. <laughs> uh, so this is the first of the optional dungeons. Uh, from what I've seen so far, uh, the optional dungeons are usually not very long. They... Um, are usually quite uh, they're relatively short and also relatively straightforward um, and I think this is also yes this is um, <laughs> sorry this is also the first time where we've got um, three characters to play with um, so you um, flip between you using the triangle button so you switch between uh, the main two that you've got on the right there, and then you've got one in kind of backup. You bring them into the to the battle by pressing the L2 button, and that swaps them with whatever character you happen to have equipped at the time. Um, and you can bring the other character back out. <clears throat> Sorry, and you can bring the other character out at any point um, by pressing the L2 button again. So, yeah. Um, and that's pretty much how the maximum amount of characters that you can use. You can use a grand total of three. And um, <laughs> um, I think you, uh, by the end of the game, you end up with... Uh, I think you end up with nine party members by the end of the game. Um, so, yeah, there's plenty of characters for you to uh, mess about with. Um, all of them have been different. Uh, abilities and different um, elemental powers and that kind of thing. But yeah, optional dungeon. Yeah, they're pretty. They the optional dungeons are pretty straightforward and simple. It's just usually um, because like they're also pretty short as well. Because like um, the major dungeons are have got are quite long. Especially um, later versions of the game, of, of you know, later, later dungeons later on in the game. Yeah, this is me trying to. Okay, okay, so this is what I have to do. Me trying to work out, okay, what the fuck do I do? What are the button combos again? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, what am I thinking of doing here? You do have the double jump. I'm just forgetting that at this point, <laughs> to be honest. Let's punch that. And I think that's the way to... Yeah, that's the way forward, I believe. Um, it, uh, the optional dungeons are also um, usually, for the most part, based on previous areas. So this was, like, uh, based off pretty much... The first optional dungeon is pretty much based off the first um, uh, proper dungeon that you enter from chapter one. It's the similar aesthetic. Um, the only thing that's different, I think, is that they change the layout a little bit and they also change out. Um, it's a different layout, but um, it's also a different color. Because that one, I think, was more red and this is green. But um, primarily, it's basically similar in look to a previous um, dungeon that you've uh, gone through. Uh, and so, yeah. These are pretty... Like I say, they're pretty comfortable to go through. It's just, it's a nice... Um, for me, anyway, it's a nice chilled out little uh, thing to go through. Just collecting treasure, beating up bad guys. 
Uh, in terms of the fir in terms of the dungeons, they are. Um, in terms of the enemies you face, they're not particularly. Yeah, that's the, that's the way out. <laughs> they're not particularly hard. Uh, to be fair. Fuck you. <laughs> um, they're not particularly difficult. Um, and you know the first. And as you go through the game, they, it's like with the standard dungeons, they do get harder as you go through. Um, but they're already at a, a level which is already pretty comfortable. Yeah. Get up, Ko! Oh, this guy's doing some... God's sake, you should be just going down. I don't know what... What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> There we go. I think, yeah, I was trying to work out. Okay, what button do I press now? <laughs> Problem is I always go away from this game for a little while and then I kind of forget where the fuck I'm, what the fuck the, bot the buttons do. <laughs> um, and so it always takes me a little bit of a while to get used to it again. Uh, that's what happens when you try and record, um, you know, a number of games at once. <coughs> My apologies. But anyway, yeah, so pretty much um, the side dungeons as well, um, they don't have, from what I remember, they don't really have bosses. I don't think so anyway. I think, what am I doing? That was, I think I was trying to work out, all right, what's my, what's my dodge button? There we go. <laughs> Fucking hell. And um, so, yeah, there we go. We're done. And at the end of the optional dungeons, uh, I, I, actually, I think these are at the end of uh, every dungeon if you like go into them again, if you go through them a second time. Basically, these give you uh, a shit ton of bonus um, eclipse materials. So basically, it's a slot machine, essentially. Yeah. For the side, they're at the end of the side dungeons or at the, if you decide to re-enter. So you hit them. And you hit them, and what you get is random levels, uh, random yes. random items, and it's depending on dependent on um, what color I think of um, what color of thing that you actually hit. If you hit like uh, I think the best one is the one I got, which is the red, and um, that gives you the best items. But yeah, pretty useful. That's why it's kind of. Uh, useful to go into um, dungeons for a second or you know to go into dungeons multiple times so that you can use the slots to kind of uh, get a bunch of items so you can start um, so you can level up your equipment faster and that kind of shit but anyway so that's our first side dungeon out of the way and uh, it's relatively easy <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, ask is still being a pain in the ass. Um, <laughs> but anyway. So there we go. <laughs> it's kind of funny that they say this here. Looking for eclipses. Did you find any? It's like, no. And then... Because we're in New Game Plus, we've got another one that we're, we're going to be going to a second optional dungeon in a minute <laughs> so yeah obviously Hiragi didn't look too closely but that's beside the point that is very anime by the way nice guy who's trying to do everything for you and, and, and treating like and girls treating like shit all right <laughs> moving on <laughs> so yes we've there's dungeons to find in your free time Additional free dungeons are now out there. New exciting dungeons are out there. Yeah, move on. Right, so now we're going to be heading to... Uh, Haraicho. Um, and the reason why we're having this little cutscene here is because this is the place where uh, we end our free time. It's um, the bar on here. The bar on this um, s uh, street that is... Um, where we're going today for our part-time work. Um, so they give you this little thing of 
the, it, you know, here's the stuff you can find here. They've got a pawn, there's a pawn shop here. But we're going into the arcade. Because this is where this, the optional eclipse is. Um, and this is only available in New Game Plus. So let's open this gate and head in. Um, from what I remember as well, I think... Um, Yeah, so the the new dungeon, the optional dungeons that are available in New Game, uh, and the after you've um, gone into New Game Plus, um, look significantly diff significantly different. Um, basically, it doesn't use prior areas. Um, it doesn't use prior areas from uh, you know earlier on in the game because obviously. Uh, it uses areas that are usually later. There we go. I don't know what I'm doing here. There you go. Fucking kill it. <laughs> um, and what I've also done is I've uh, changed up some of the characters' uh, elemental abilities. So Ko was on fire. He's now got the steel uh, thing. And um, Hiragi had the blue... Uh, env environment, yeah. yeah, elemental. I can't remember what the name of it is. Um, it's SP. I think it's special. I want to say. Uh, but I've changed it up, and she's now rocking the shadow attribute. Um, basically, just because, well, those are the three elementals that we that are in this dungeon. So I figured, you know. Let's just, you know, use, change them up so that we can use, um, you know, so that we can make it a bit easier going through the, um, through the dungeon. Ah, so there we go. That was me being a dumbass. <laughs> I think that was like, oh, I wonder what this, is that the right button? And it's like, nope, it's not the right, it's not the right button. <laughs> I did my special attack. I didn't want to do that. Okay. This guy has actually got quite a bit of defense. Um, uses a lot of energy attacks. He's uh, more of a long range kind of dude. But his attacks are pretty um, telegraphed. <clears throat> so it's pretty easy to just, you know dodge him and kick his ass from the side so it's not too difficult and I think it, um, I think it's also the fa uh, also true that if you do the side dungeons which are only in new game plus you get more you get better um, you get rarer items because it's meant for kind of you know people who've done the late game <laughs> before <laughs> if you know what I mean it's people who've already completed the game so these are a little bit more challenging and a little ooh, bit um, longer uh, and a little bit more um, slightly more complex than the regular um, side dungeons they're not super hard though to be fair um, they're just a little it's just a little bit more yeah, I don't know what I was thinking here I th thinking I could probably just kill these guys off without having to swap all the time but I guess I was just trying to show off everybody <laughs> um, let's go through here ah fuck you fairy <laughs> let's pick up more shit what's in here star soma the star somas are pretty useful I think that fully recovers your health as well as your um, special meter so yeah, pretty useful. Uh, all right, let's kill you. There we go. And again, yeah, fucking keep tr getting, getting hit trying to swap. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. And of course. Another w reason you want to kind of... There we go, now I'm just saying fuck it. 
another reason why you want to get hit, you want to hit as much as soon as possible is the higher your hit hits thing is there right there uh the more i think the higher your like points multiplier is at the end of the what am i doing the higher your um <laughs> points uh, multiplier is at the end of the stage so what am i doing oh no it's i should have done better there whatever can't go that way yet let's pick up i think i've missed some shit there but whatever. time to die <laughs> time if you're gonna swap swap just fucking hit him there you go that's better yeah, so the higher Kinetsu, that's a rare um, uh, core for one of the weapons. That's That'll be pretty useful. Um, I don't... I'm trying to think. I think... Um, I think part of 100% of this game is to get every single core <laughs> for all your weapons. Um, and they are... There is quite a lot of them to get. I don't think I got them in, in my full playthrough, which was like, how long was it? It was about 40 odd hours. It's been 40 and 50 hours, I know that. <laughs> so yeah, it's a long term commitment if you want 100% this game. No worse than something like Persona 5 though, I mean, Jesus Christ. I did think about trying 100% of Persona 4 Golden for a long time, but it's just, just no, just fucking no, just hit it, there you go, it's dead. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. And like I say, it, it, this is pretty much, well, the point I was getting at is that it's a little bit more, diffi uh, not difficult, that's the wrong word, it's a little bit more uh, complex with um, what you have to do to proceed in comparison to the other side dungeon that we did. Fuck you. <laughs> um, but it's still not all that complex and, compl and, and difficult. So there you go. Nice and easy. Because this is technically, I guess, um, New Game Plus um, uh, side dungeon number one, really. Yeah, I think that was what I was trying to do. I was trying to figure out like, how the fuck do I run. <laughs> oh my god. This is why you should always fuck up. Die. Why am I running away? I'm annoying myself. <laughs> I'm gonna do that! Ugh, god. Never mind. Just fucking pick the stuff up and let's go. <laughs> Dead. Kill it, kill it, kill it! There you go, fucking hell. More stuff to collect. I don't know why I really bother with that shit, but whatever. Alright, time for the, um, yeah, it's another one of these. Except this time he's got fairies to help him out. But, yeah, it's... Shit. But of course it doesn't really matter. There you go. You're dead. So yeah, it's... That's what I mean, there's not a lot, there's no real bosses. In these side dungeons, it's just like little, little mini bosses, and then we end with our little uh, thing with our um, thing there, and there we go, we're done. S rank, baby. That's my first time through it, and I get an S rank. Nice. So there we go, and that's all the optional. Um, sorry. That's all the optional eclipses for this chapter done. And of course, every time you do an optional eclipse, you also get another um, affinity shard so that you can talk to, um, you can do more of the um, friendship episodes um, to do, so you get more 
backstory with, you know, um, <clears throat> your party members and other like side characters. So it's worth going out of your out of your way to do it. So let's hang out with Sora for a bit, because we've now got a now we've done all the um, <clears throat> side equips stuff. We've now got to um, do our friendship episodes, and we've got a fair few affinity shards to mess about with. This is really unfair, by the way. <laughs> Sora's asking him to fight. Um, <laughs> Sora wants to fight Ko. <laughs> Have a bit of a spa. It's not really fair. She's in a you know in a gi and all that, and we're stuck here with our shirt and sh with our you know uh, school shirt and trousers. We're at a disadvantage here. I simply did my best to not lose instantly. And Sora kicked our ass. <laughs> yeah. God damn it, we got beaten down by our Kohai. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> but she is good, though. She's a strong fighter, so whatever. God damn it. Ah, oh, but she's, you know, she may have beaten us down, but <laughs> at least she's uh, giving us a, a drink to cool off, which is nice. Co, why don't you say what you really think, lad? Um, <laughs> I like that. I, I, I like that from Sora. That I know it looked a bit rough. It's like, oh, for God's sake, have a bit more self-confidence in yourself, there, Sora. Yeah, and she's kind of uh, blushing. <laughs> Yeah, but I kind of like kind of like this little scene of them kind of the two of them kind of um, reminiscing and um, him kind of saying how much she's changed over the years and how she's grown, how much stronger she's grown. Sora's past details. Give me details. <laughs> this is funny. Go on, Ko. Now this one time. <laughs> I love that. It's just like a little bit of teasing from Ko there right at the end. And Barrett sort of chased me out of the area. <laughs> I like that. Um, and our Bombasaur has gotten better. So, yeah, we should be able to max out her soul level by the end of the game, I think. But anyway, that's it for this part of Tokyo Xanadu X+. <sighs> Join me next time for the next part when we're going to be doing all of the uh, friendship episodes... Uh, the remaining friendship episodes that we got to do. Uh, and then we'll be moving on with the main plot. So join me next time for the next part of Tokyo Xanadu EX+. <sighs> See you next time.